Hey guys, about to play a third match with Endrixar. I actually just played a third match, but my opponent scooped when I played a Grave Titan with Endrixar in play uh, on like turn six, so I didn't want to put a third, um, third just like our opponent scooping in five minutes video on here. I mean, it does show that the deck, I guess, is frustrating and overwhelming for my opponents, but it'd be nice to just have like a good game against somebody. So maybe that'll happen here. Let's find out. See what kind of hand we have. A pretty good one. Uh, Baborigmos. That should be interesting. Yeah, that, sh that could get ugly. So, But we're going to keep... We do have lots of ways to kill big things like Baborigmos. One soul ring is not a good, not good ever, but really not good when your opponent has Baborigmos. That means he can play <laughs> plays Baborigmos before we play Endric Sar, probably, which isn't cool. But we do have a two turn two play, turn three play, potential turn five play, um, but I'll probably would play Endric Sar first, and then Sadisi. All right, Ascendant Evancar is nice to get against his opponent, who's no black. So. He's already at five mana, <laughs> which is pretty brutal. Tranquil Thicket just cycled. He needs seven for Pavorigmos, so... Oh, no, he needs eight. So we actually probably will get our commanders out around the same time. Unless I try to be conservative um, and, like, wait till I can equip my champions home. But I think I probably lose if I try to do that. Take our opponent down a little more, play our helm, end our turn. Don't currently have a turn four play other than equipping the helm to our Blood Throne Vampire. Um, yeah, now he can play. Um, now he can play Baborgmos next turn. Yeah, I can't believe I can hit players and creatures. It's just disgusting. So I probably will have to wait to play Endric Sar because of that. Because I have to worry about the the Borgmos action. So we're going to equip our Blood Throne Vampire and swing for three. Trying to decide if I want to play Sidisi's, uh not Faithful, but Sidisi himself, herself, next turn. I think I might want to. I could also play my Plague Lord. Yeah, here comes a Borgmos. If I play Sidisi, I at least have a really good blocker for big, big Baborigmos. Um, who just... Oh, no. Nope. Animus Awakening. Damn. That's a lot of mana. Okay. One of the new Magic Origins cards making its way through our opponent's deck into our opponent's deck. Uh, I think I'm going to play the Plague Lord. Play out the Plague Lord. End our turn. He may not even really play Baborigmos, I guess. I guess his deck may just be like a huge ramp deck and it has a big, you know, hard to beat uh, commander. He can play it now and have like half his mana still in tap, so. Wow. So he's got a lot of lands in his deck, basically. What did he just exile from our library? Zillingar Assassin, Doomblade, and Dictate of Erebos. That's pretty good. <laughs> Basically three removal spells that could kill the Baborigmos. <laughs> but he did ramp us to a pretty good place. Um, and we can deal with Baborigmos pretty easily. Interesting. That is interesting. Uh, Mind Slash is actually pretty nice right now. Um... Hmm. I think we swing first with both our guys. 
take him down to 25. And then we try to play Endrick Sar. See if he sticks around. I'm going to try to equip him with Champion's Helm. See if he immediately dies. He did not. And now he's got Hexproof, which is pretty nice. Uh, and we end our turn. I think we're in pretty great shape now. We can play our, uh, either Sadisi. Oh, well, there's some news for everybody. Um, play Sadisi. What's he doing with all this mana? Maybe a board clearer. An X damage board clearer. Don't do it. I would have probably played Sidisi first. Maybe. Genesis wave for 17. Oh my gosh. I don't even I don't even want to look. But it looks like he didn't get too oh pray he got the Praetor. Praetor's Council. No, he can't 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 he's gonna get Secure Tribe Elder, Eternal Witness, Yavi Maya Elder, and a bunch of land and a storm cauldron. Ooh, Storm Cauldron's pretty gross. And Illusionist Bracers. Yeah, he can copy his activated abilities with the Bracers. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Um... I don't know... I think I kind of want to play Sadisi now, but he he didn't play the Storm Cauldron, which is interesting. He could have, but he didn't. Uh, Baborigmos now. No? Praetor's Council. What does that do? Um, hello? Praetor's Council. I think it does something nuts, but here we go. Turn all cards from your graveyard to your hand. Exile Praetor's Council. Oh, so we can play Baborigmos now. Okay, so we need to find a way to counter that, like, as soon as possible. Um, you know, Mind Slash won't do, won't do enough, act, won't do enough uh, at all. I don't remember how many lands he has in his hand, but I feel like it's a lot. Um, it's probably not enough to kill us yet, though. Um, yeah, let's play Sadisi. We'll sacrifice one of the thralls that are generated by it. I'm not sure what I want to get, but... But something. Uh, yep. So we sack a thrall. We do want to use Sadisi and Dead Vizier's ability. Okay, Commander deck, what you got? Um, I wish I had something to just said, like, dis your opponent discards his hand. Uh, Foul Renewal could get something back that he kills, but that doesn't seem nearly good enough. Massacre Worm, I don't have enough mana to play right now, otherwise that might actually be pretty huge. It might almost win us the game. Yeah, if we had two more mana, it probably would win us the game. It would kill everything, and then we'd have, like, a bunch of thralls to sack, so... I don't really think we have anything that's going to help us out here. Um, well, Profane Command isn't bad. It can help us push through more damage later. I don't know. Damnable Pact. I think I might get Profane Command. It can get us back a dude from our graveyard. Um, and that's pretty big, and it can help us um, push through damage late. So yeah, we'll get the Profane Command. Why not? Um, maybe I should have gotten Grave Pact, like, now that I think about it. But I don't feel like it would have had a huge enough effect on this game. Uh, it just wouldn't have, because, I mean, it would have, it, we could kill the Borigmos and stuff like that, but in response, he could just discard more lands. So I don't, I mean, it may have still been the play, but, 
Uh, let's see what we can do to his hand with our mind slash. We're going to choose this opponent. We're going to sack a throw. Another Genesis wave. Yeah, well, not another one. It's the same one. The Great Aurora. Man. 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 Um, Blasphemous Act. It's also a big problem. So we're pretty much screwed either way because Blasphemous Act and the Great Aurora will pretty much destroy us. I think I'd rather get rid of Blasphemous Act. Yeah, I'm going to hit Blasphemous Act. Um, and then... How can we do the most damage here? I can kill each of these guys by sacking and then swing. Yeah, that's probably the best way. Okay, so that way we swing for nine. We should have probably played Mind Slash first so that I could have known, had a better idea what to get. I've been making some bad plays in this game. I would have had a better idea what to get with our um, Sadisi if I looked at his hand first. Um, So if he plays the Great Aurora, like, we both get reset. If he played Blasphemous Act, he would have nuked our field and had a million lands. So, um, wouldn't have been great news for us. I mean, we still would have had our lands, but that's all we would have had, basically. Uh, I'm trying to just, yeah, no, I don't think we do. I think we just keep Sidisi back. Swing for a bunch. Even with the Luzinish Bracers... I don't think he can kill us just yet. Um, and that's good news. Our Profane Command can kill the Borg most once, too. And I think we just win next turn. Um, depending what happens. He may just... What's he doing? Animus Awakening again, maybe. If he does that, though, he's pretty much dead. It must be something he drew. Or he's just adding all his mana to his mana pool and then seeing what he wants to do. No, the Great Aurora. Yeah, he gets to float all that mana. That's not something I thought about. All right. He also has no maximum hand size. So he basically pulled off a combo on us uh, because of his um, Praetor's Console. He has no maximum hand size, and he just drew 43 cards. Uh, so we'll put all our lands down. It'd be cool if we got our Profane Command again, but we did not. So we can also exile his graveyard. That's relevant, potentially. Um, yeah, we didn't get much action here. We do have a Death Wind, so... But he can just play Baborgmos and discard enough lands to kill us, I feel like. He can't attack yet, though. And we can Deathwind him at the end of his turn. So that's probably going to be our plan. Um, if he can't swing with Baborgmos now, our Deathwind will just kill him. And then his plan won't really work. I'll probably kill him in response to him equipping Illusionist Bracers, or at least try to. We, have, we can go for the throat him. I think that's what we do first. Just try to take out the boring most with go for the throat. Hope he doesn't have some way to stop that. Damn. 
Oh, wait. Well, that's... He still can't quite... He's not going to be able to kill us. He can do a bunch of damage to us. Oh no, it's going to be enough. It'll be enough with the uh, double. Yeah. So we're getting... We lost this game to a pretty filthy combo. He's got to have more lands than that, right? I mean... He drew 38 cards. You could kill us, right? Oh, he disconnected. Um, probably going to lose this, um, but I'll be back when our opponent comes back. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're going to lose this one, which is good. Our deck was, you know, people were just scooping against it, but this guy clearly can uh, can deal with it. So uh, yeah, I'll be back when our opponent's back. And if he's not back, then this might be the end of the video. And it's just to assume I lost. So anyway, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>